Hey guys, I'm sick. Well, actually, I'm not that sick anymore, but when I was sick, I was pretty bored and I wasn't getting much fulfillment in my life. So I went to Google and looked up what to do when you're sick and bored. And I found this article by Grace Quantock called 49 Things to Do When You Are Sick, In Bed, and Bored. And I thought today we'd try some of them. Also, stick around till the end for a sick music video? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to miss that. All right, let's do it. Number one, try not to think about penguins. There, you're smiling now, aren't you? I guess I am smiling. I guess I am. <laughs> Number two, explore on Google Earth. Check out your neighborhood or, you know, Paraguay. I like the way this is written because I feel like it insinuates that Paraguay is like everyone's dream vacation spot. You're sick at home. Why waste time checking out your neighborhood when you can literally visit Paraguay, you sick little idiot? You can finally visit Paraguay. Number three, adventure into space. Click and marvel. Now, when I first read this, I thought that this hyperlink would take me to some like Google Earth type of website where I could fly around space and think about how insignificant I am. But when I clicked on it, it just brought me to this website where you're supposed to complete tasks to identify stars, I guess, which just really felt like, what's the word? Um, homework, like astronomy homework. Like I'm studying to be an astronomist. Astronomist? Is that a word? Space is cool, but when I'm sick, the last thing I want to be doing is completing tasks, you know? Okay, let's identify. That looks smooth to me. Um, let's say it's completely round. The galaxy merging or disturbed. Don't really think it's disturbed. Lens or arc, ring irregular, dust lane, overlapping. No, nothing unusual. And then it just goes to a next one. I think this website might actually just be some scam to get us to do work for them. Number four, read a book. Use your time to learn something. Yeah, you lazy, good for nothing, sick little boy. Use your time to learn something. Why don't you be a little bit more productive, you sickly little fucker? Maybe learn something about Paraguay. You know, your dream vacation spot. Number six, write a haiku. Text it to your friend. What are the rules for a haiku again? It's three lines, five syllables in the first and third line, seven in the second line, and it doesn't rhyme. Who would appreciate, I think Max would appreciate a haiku. Their dream vacation, their dream vacation. Okay, I wrote my haiku. Their dream vacation, my penguin in Paraguay. Oh, too hot. They died. That's my haiku. Number eight, email an author you admire and share how their work has moved you. An author I admire. I'm just getting back into reading. I didn't read for a while, so I don't really have any authors that I admire off the top of my head. I guess I liked Harry Potter, but I wouldn't really say I admire J.K. Rowling. In fact, whatever the opposite of admire is... I'd say that's how I feel about J.K. Rowling. I guess I could email, uh, William Shakespeare? Hey, Will. Sorry about the death and all. Just wanted to reach out and say I love all those dick jokes. Keep writing. I've got... A good feeling about you. Number nine, call up someone and speak for just 15 minutes. Just chat. Oh no. They said William Shakespeare couldn't be found, maybe on account of the death and all. I guess I could call my mom. Hello? Hi mom. I have to speak. Hi. I have to talk to you for 15 minutes. Okay. Just, I can't, no more, no less. Okay. What's up? Uh, just recording a video. Yeah, how's it going? Uh, so far, so good, I guess. Uh, yeah? I feel like this is going to be a pretty boring part of the video. 15 minutes of this. <laughs> Number 11, take a class from a world famous university from your bed for free. Maybe I'm just too fresh out of college still, but the last thing I wanna do when I'm sick is school. Listening to a lecture and f remembering the feeling of being in a classroom does not sound fun to me at all. Also, I feel like if I were to start watching a lecture right now, my brain is probably so trained to just start stressing about an improv comedy show because I never actually paid attention in class. I was just always like, I wonder my improv comedy show is gonna go this week. Number 13, go to Italy or Spain for the day. All right, 40 hours, 15 minutes from 2,678 bucks. Well, I definitely can't afford that right
right now. Plus, I'm pretty sure my passport's been expired for like a year and I've just been too lazy and broke to renew it. So I guess I can't go to Italy today. Oh no. Number 15, write something. Get it? You get it? I wrote it some. Number 16, get a foot massage or pedicure. Call a mobile therapist, swap with your partner, or do it yourself. I don't have a partner, I'm very single. Um, I guess I could ask my roommate to do it. Hey Gwen, would you mind giving me a foot massage? No, that's a dumb idea. I'm nervous about the second half of the sentence. If none of these is an option, how about online role play? And there's a hyperlink? Yeah, I'm not gonna click that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna know what that takes me to. Number 18, daydream. Number 19, sing. It's raining man. Number 24, learn a new word every day. Okay, let's look up. New word to learn. Dirigible. A dirigible is an airship, like a giant balloon in the sky that you can steer. Blimps and zeppelins are dirigibles. Okay, well I've learned a new word. Dirigible, so. Hey, you know that's a dirigible, right? Oh, you know a blimp is a dirigible? Much like a hot air balloon. Number 25, take a foot bath if you can't take a full bath. This article has a lot of foot stuff going on in it. Number 25, take a picture of your foot and email it to me. Number 28, dream up your ideal milkshake slash smoothie recipe. Just dream about it. Chocolate and peanut butter, I guess. Did that. Cool. Number 29, watch childhood cartoons on YouTube. I would love to watch Cocomelon again. Number 32, take a picture every hour. Ugh. Set a small budget and browse Etsy. All right, let's go to Etsy. I definitely need home decor. Look at this. Sort by lowest price. There's no way I get this rug for six cents, right? Shipping is $1,600. Okay, that's sick. I love Etsy. Number 36, flick through the dictionary. I don't want to learn. Stop making me try to learn stuff. Number 40, try out a telescope if you have one. Yeah, if you have a telescope, just try it out. Give it a shot. If you just have a telescope lying around, give it a shot. Why not? I want to meet the person who read this article and was like, oh, I did buy that telescope two years ago. I should give that a shot. I haven't used it yet. Number 41, set up a cool bag by your bed and fill it with healthy snacks. You know, healthy snacks like carrots, broccoli, apple, and everyone's favorite, raw pasta and pesto. You know, how you love snacking on raw pasta and pesto. Number 42, invite visitors. No, I'm sick. That's the whole reason I looked this article up. If I could hang out with my friends, I wouldn't be bored at home finally trying out my telescope. Number 46, improve your maths, geography, and vocabulary, freerice.com. Stop trying to make me do homework. Please stop trying to make me do homework. Let's see if I can still do math, actually. Nine plus eight, I'd say that has to be 17. Yeah, I honestly almost got that wrong. 10 minus three, seven. Oh, I'm freaking killing it. Okay, number 47, hold a concert in your room. Put on your favorite album. That's interesting. The only problem with that is like most music is about having fun and doing things, you know? If I'm just sick at home and bored, it would probably just make me sad because I can't go have fun and do things. I wish there was a song I could enjoy at home while sick, but I could also relate to because it's about being sick. I think I have an idea, guys. <coughs> oh, fuck. Man, I feel like shit. Oh my God. God, I feel like shit. Ugh. Let's get it, I guess. Bring Smokey D that day quill. Cause the consequences of my current fucking state will be my demise. Yes, I'm down lest I take pills. Cause I'm telling y'all motherfucker that this pain kills golf cough. Man, this motherfucking flow soft Trying to get some gut, but I can't even take my clothes off It really hurts to move, so I guess I'm trying to roll off Cause if I lay here in this bed, I'm gonna doze off Said bitch, I got a runny nose and a bunch of hoes Man, these cold and flu days are so fucking dope 
Yeah, I feel like shit, but I'm still tryna hit Man, these cold and flu days are so fucking lit Man, I don't like being sick, what do I do, just sit? Man, I must admit, my flow don't feel so lit Can't remember how to breathe Can't remember how to seize These opportunities Shit, I'm about to smoke G Gonna get it like this Cause when I speak Motherfuckers like it When I got a runny nose And some drowsy eyelids I'ma make a song Just to spite it I can't, I can't do any more. Oh, I really can't, no, I'm saying, I fucking, oh, I can't play the chorus or some shit. Just go to the chorus, I can't, fuck, I can't do any more. <laughs> Say, bitch, I got a runny nose and a bunch of hoes. Man, these cold and flu days are so fucking dope. Yeah, I feel like shit, but I'm still trying to hit. Man, these cold and flu days are so fucking lit Say, Bitch, I got a runny nose and a bunch of hoes Man, these cold and flu days are so fucking dope Yeah, I feel like shit, but I'm still tryna hit Man, these cold and flu days are so fucking lit I wrote that song like a year ago and uh, felt like, yeah, that was a good time to use that, I guess. Sure. If you enjoyed the video, think about leaving a like and maybe think about subscribing to me if you want to see more of my face plastered all over your feed. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Say, bitch, I got a runny nose and a bunch of hoes. Man, these cold and flu days are so fucking dope. Yeah, I feel like shit, but I'm still trying to hit. Man, these cold and flu days are so fucking